Hi, my name is Subhash. I'm a biosignal research engineer at Interaxon. I got my PhD in biomedical engineering from Arizona State University. For my PhD, I developed machine learning algorithms for neuroprosthetic applications. My work here at Interaxon involves developing signal processing and machine learning algorithms for neurotech applications in the space of meditation and sleep. So the main difference when it comes to meditation and sleep is the difference in activity in the executive centers of the brain, which is mostly like the prefrontal cortex. While meditating, it's very active, and when we are sleeping, it, it actually is asleep with the rest of the brain. Um, meditation is, can be classified into many different states, uh, depending on the focus and mindfulness of what you're focusing on, like based on yourself or on your surroundings. Sleep is like far more well-defined, like the stages of sleep are well-documented and we know that the brain goes through like different stages of the sleep and in different cycles throughout the night. When we start off with meditation, the EEG activity in the brain um, is documented uh, based on what type of meditation you're doing. And generally speaking, the goal of meditation is to be mindful of oneself or one's surroundings. And during meditation, the executive centers of the brain are very active, which is predominantly the prefrontal cortex. And if we contrast this to sleep, the executive centers of the brain are actually asleep, while the rest of the brain is actually very active. And sleep stages are very well documented. We know what stages of sleep uh, a person goes through in the course of the night and how many cycles they go through throughout the night. When we talk about characterizing EEG power spectrum while meditating, um, the, that's an active ongoing field of research and nothing is set in stone. Um, but broadly, we can say that if you are following a, a focused attention type of meditation, uh, that involves an increase in alpha activity. When it comes to imaginative practices of meditation, that is more aligned with a drop in alpha and an increase in beta and gamma. EEG features in sleep research is a well-documented area of research, and sleep experts score sleep predominantly based on EEG, EOG, and EMG. EOG stands for the amount of eye activity, and EMG refers to the amount of muscle activity. There are different features involved with different stages of sleep, and the different stages can be broadly classified into wake, REM, N1, N2, and N3. During wake state, experts look for an increase in alpha activity when your eyes are closed, and that kind of attenuates when your eyes open. Um, during wakeful state, there are also blinks, there are slow eye movements, there are rapid eye movements, and those are the markers of the wake phase. N1 sleep state is the dreamy state that we are in as we slowly drift into falling asleep and the brain actually kind of falls asleep back to the front and this is characterized by slow eye movements when our eyes are closed and the EEG activity itself is spread throughout the spectrum between like 4 and 7 hertz and typically experts also look for uh, an alpha rhythm in some individuals that can actually generate this rhythm. N2 phase of sleep is characterized by the occurrence of K-complexes and sleep spindles. K-complexes are large, sharp, negative waves immediately followed by a positive deflection, usually lasting half a second. Sleep spindles are trains of sinusoidal waves uh, within the frequency range of 11 to 16 hertz, and sleep spindles are loosely correlated with memory consolidation. N3 phase is characterized by slow wave activity in the frequency range of 0.5 to 2 hertz. This is accompanied by large deflections in this frequency range and it cannot be missed and it's one of the obvious stages of sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movements and in this phase we are dreaming and therefore that's accompanied by rapid eye movements which are conjugate irregularly shaped peaks in EEG that usually last half a second. There's also increased muscle activity and this, the sleeping brain in this state looks a lot like the awake brain. Neurons are the functional units of the nervous system a neuron is made up of a cell body and an axon. The cell body has extensions called dendrites that bring information into the cell, and an axon conducts information away from the cell. The way to think about this is the gray matter is a collection of cities, and the white matter is the highway connecting those cities with each other. One of the benefits of meditation is to improve the connectivity between the executive centers of the brain and the limbic system. The limbic system is the emotional center of your brain, and what we know from research is meditation actually helps better your attention and emotion regulation.